Hey guys, Hell's Creations here again. Um, today we're gonna be doing some more World of Warcraft, but we're gonna be focusing more on the shaman today. Maybe run a couple of raids and just have a little bit of fun. So we'll see how this goes. Um. Uh, loading screens are so much fun. So yeah, so that's what I thought we'd focus on today is the shaman and doing a couple of raids, having a little bit of fun with it. Uh no, the shaman is one that I heal as well with. Well, I did DPS beforehand with it. Um and then I recently got more into healing with it. Uh, I tried a couple of raids out healing with it, and they went pretty good. So figured we keep that good luck train going. So once we can finally get loaded in here, then we can get in there and start kicking some ass. So. See. Give it a second to load all the world in. And again. Alright, I think we're good. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to raid. We're gonna do healing. But Let's go in the chamber of, Ava of the avatar for two Mr. Gearish, because there's a, there's some gear that I really need to get um, out of there. So we'll queue up. And this one's eight eighty nine. This one's just short of being able to uh, do um, the newer raid for. The burning throne. So, what I think we'll do is we'll come over. And we'll do, uh. We'll grab some, uh. Transmogs, just kind of change up our look a little bit while we're waiting. Uh, average wait time is about 13 minutes, so... Let's see what kind of sets we have that we can do. Once the stuff loads... Why you no want to load? I don't get you. But now you want it. There we go. Let's see. Mm. As you can tell, I don't really have a whole lot of sets. I mean, none that are really decent. So we'll just kind of go with what we got. Let's 
kind of deal with the cardboard dealt right now. So let's see. Um, yeah. I think that's what sucks, and unfortunately, there's really not a lot to get. Uh, mm -hmm. I mean, we can go with these. We just gotta change this. Oh, with this, we can actually keep it hidden. Uh, do we want to change what this looks like? Sure, why not? Let's see what some of these look like. Scroll on up, look at some of these shields. I mean, that looks pretty cool. Or we got this one. I believe this one's from the Heart of Fear, or it's actually from the Siege of Ogamar, the actual raid. I'm not entirely certain, but. You know, we'll go, we'll go with this. I think these look fine. At least for now. So, what else shall we do while we're waiting? Ooh, it dropped down to five minutes. So, that's always good. It means we're just waiting on a couple more, uh, healers to come in. So. And the main reason I have some of the spells that I have up here down here is because unfortunately with healing him you're not always grouped up with a tank. Sometimes you're actually grouped there was one I was playing with on the priest that uh the whole group that I was in was just nothing but healers. And none of them were melee. I mean, none of them. Yeah, none of them were close range. So I had a group of all healers, and then a mage. And I was like, "How am I? Gonna, how am I supposed to utilize dang um, add-on if I can't even? If I'm not even grouped up in a decent group?" So. Oh well, we we make it work. So, and these are some of the talents I have. I like I like torrent because it increases the initial heal. So if this is like one of those just stop heals or like quick ones, then you always have that. I like gust of wind because it just kind of I mean it hurls you forward. So I would do. I would do that, but I kind of like the lightning surge. To where it just stuns all of them, so it kind of gives people a good chance to get away. And then I like the rip tide. Because, um, I like crashing waves. Oh, well, we're in a group, so let's move this. Get out of here. Let's get in here. So the bosses that we're going to be focusing on is. The Maiden of Vigilance and the Fallen Avatar. So these are the big ones. And then of course last boss. Out of the whole raid will be Kill Jaden, so So we shall see how this goes. Fingers crossed we actually get maybe melee. Nope. We got put in the full healer and then one DPS. Now is this DPS close range? 
Yes, he is. Okay, so he's a druid. He's a, he's a feral druid, so this will actually work out pretty well. So what we'll do is we'll come in here. We'll throw up um, Wellspring. We'll throw in Gift to the Queen. That one went down some damage. Alright. Who died? Did somebody really already die? How did somebody already die? So we'll come over here and then we're gonna take out these. We'll do another well spring. Ow. Do another gift to the queen. No, oh, is he the tank? No, he's not. Okay. But he is the tank. Mine no, is not. He's the DPS. So the tank is this DK and this paladin. So we gotta keep an eye on them. So for this one. We want to make sure that we dive into the pit when Unstable Soul is about to expire. So, well, looks like we're starting, guys. So we got to keep an eye out on that thing. So, jump in. And then we'll throw this through. We'll lay down a healing tide totem as well as a cloud burst. Because the cloud burst is really good because it'll gather up all your stored up all the healing that you've done within a certain amount of time and then it'll just release it to all enemies. Okay, so what we gotta do now is we gotta jump in here. So and we'll lay down another healing. Pop this in. We'll pop another gift to the queen down. And sorry for the lag guys, this this tends to happen. Um when there's a bunch of stuff going on and unfortunately there's really no way that I've been able to find to really fix it so throw so another wellspring down we'll get a little bit closer and we'll pop another healing stream totem and I think as we get a little bit closer maybe when she's at 50% I'll do Bloodlust. You will burn in power you cannot comprehend. My duty is one mere mortal. So wait, wait, wait. I usually jump when it's about two seconds. Then we'll do that, we'll drop another gift to the queen, wherever they're at. We'll throw another well spring through as well. Why do people keep dying? Don't die. Okay, 
and we'll pop another healing stream. Okay, so somebody else already did bloodlust. So do this we'll cast another well. And then for this last part we'll uh, so I'm not, we'll throw the healing tide one down. That way we can just mainly focus on DPS. You will burn in power. You cannot comprehend. I am compelled to ensure the end of your existence. Okay, we'll jump down here. <coughs> And then afterwards, we'll throw this down. Heal up real quick. We'll get closer to everyone here. I don't know guys, this one's gonna be real close. This one's gonna be a real close one. What? We'll have to see how this goes. So... We'll see how well we do. Pop another healing in the cloud. We should have this. So then rob the deceiver. I did not shoot. You will burn in power. You cannot comprehend. My duty is one mere mortals cannot comprehend. A sacred charge to serve. Okay, now we gotta jump down. There we go. Drop another riptide down. Assume she's on this side, so let's throw on there. So we can throw these down quickly. Oh no, 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 no. And we got it just in time. That's a bit close. We've gotten it real close here. Super close here now. But we got it. So what I'm gonna do is we'll cast this. Raise everybody up. See what we get, and we didn't get nothing. Is there anything that maybe we can pick up? Somebody would be willing to part with us. Let's get everyone all healed up. Let's go. So we're gonna come over here. So we'll kind of, you know, we'll throw down a little healing stream totem. This one wouldn't be any good for us. Okay, so now we're on the fallen avatar. So what we want to do for him is we want to make sure we help soak the effects of Dark Mark. Otherwise, it's going to do a serious amount of damage. Uh, we want to avoid the unbound chaos and the targets of shadowy blades. So that way, we're not getting hit by all that. 
because unfortunately we can't do nothing if we die. So. Oh look, it's killed Jaden. Sorry buddy, we, you'll, you'll be next. You'll be next in the next, in the next run to it. So... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Again, sorry for all the lag. And everyone's all spread out, so this doesn't help. One back here. See how close we can get and still be able to help. Woohoo, guys. We're getting. We're getting real close with this. Drop that down. Drop the wellspring down. Gift the queen down. I'm gonna start laying into it. Alright, let's move around the map. Let's get as far out of that as we can. Let's get the hell out of there. Can you drop one of these down? Drop a wall spring down. Run away, run away, run away. Drop one of those. No, there's people dead. Okay, I'll drop a healing thing down here for a while. And then as we're going in, drop a wall spring. Yep. Okay. So let's heal up. Uh, and these people don't want to move around. Oh, 
do is pop this. This as well as this. Pop some little spring in there. Okay, we should be able to get him very easily. This one's gonna be a close one too, guys. So sorry if I'm not talking a lot. Um, I'll kind of work on that as I go along. this so we can start doing more damage Four, three, two, one. unfortunately it's the last spot that we can go to Well, let's get him. Yeah, we got this. We're, we should be okay. Okay, everyone is dead up. So unfortunately we got nothing out of this. We'll come over here and look around. Let's see, is there anything that maybe we can ask? Doesn't look like it. Well, we do got, we do got this. It's not going to really give us a lot, but you know what? Gives us some gold. So, let's see what's in here. It's through here. There ain't nothing through here, so well, let's hop out of here now. So. But, I think that went quite well. Um, yeah, there's a few deaths and stuff. But, um, sometimes it's just those people that just don't know the mechanic yet. 
And I mean, I'm learning the healing mechanics still. I'm more used to doing DPS. But, you know, that comes with time. And it's just a matter of... It's a matter of just trying to figure out where you need to be um, during the boss fights. So, but that's just unfortunately that just that can't come from just like reading these. You can't just come through here, read it, and then right off the bat sometimes be able to do this like one one first time. So, but I mean, these are some of the really cool gear. Uh, this is from the Tomb of Sarkers. But it, unfortunately, it's not loading right. But, alright, well, I'm going to leave this video here. Uh, basically, just wanted to kind of get on, play a little bit with the Shaman, do some raid, do a raid or so. Um, just to kind of you know get used to the healing so and I thought I'd take you guys along with me so until the next time I shall see you guys later bye